Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. It's a rather nice Wednesday here, and being Wednesday means we are on the a Big Book Challenge. Done a few more bits, as always, while you've been gone. Um, I think the main thing that I did was the bags. So let me find a bag and show you here. So I had one of these... Well, I had, you know, several of these brown paper lunch bags. So it's a really big expanding pocket now. You can get lots of bits and pieces in there. And I just basically put some mulberry paper, some of these shine papers that I had, uh, some book page, and then a die cut. Glued the gusset up. You've seen this done many times and made a bag there so there's one of those in each of them but I do believe that's all I've done this week while you've been gone so today oh I didn't bring all the paper that I needed that was silly of me wasn't it today I would like to make um, a door I want to make a door to go into our journal so I've got a piece of coffee dyed paper here you could use thin card if you would prefer you can use whatever you would like to use i'm going to move the book out of the way um i'm going to fold it a little bit bigger than half so there's my halfway mark but then i want to, whoops there's my halfway mark let's start that again shall we I'm going to hold the bottom bit and roll the top bit so that I've got, oh, what's that? That's about an inch and a half past the halfway mark. I'm going to press down and then I am going to tear that off. So I use my metal ruler for this. Oh, it's really warm again but anyway let's not start moaning about the weather bring that over like that and then I'm literally going to use my ruler to show me the depth of the hinge so I'm going to go like that okay and that's going to give me a nice wide hinge to go on there okay so this is the bit that is going to go onto our page. We're going to glue it onto the page like that, okay? And today, as I say, we're doing a door. So I want my door to open, and that's why I've got a hinge. Now, to save you some boring time, I have already cut the pieces for my door. So these are just strips at two centimetres. And I've got three long ones and two short ones of those, okay? Just because that's the card that I had to hand. Um, we may need more, we may need less, but that's what I've got cut ready. And I've got four of these rectangles to be like the panels on my vintage type door. Most of the modern plastic ones don't really have it. Um, and these are one and a half inches wide by two and a half inches long and I've got four of those two for the top two for the bottom okay and then because I don't want to wait for paint to dry although I'm gonna to have to wait for glue to dry but anyway I'm gonna use my napkin but I will be using it that way to make sure I've got enough as the paint decoration on my door okay so the first thing I'm going to do because I don't want to be panicking right at the end is I'm going to separate my napkin and I'm just going to pull that top layer off so that I've got that ready to work with get rid of the other piece right now I'm going to start by using glue stick to put my panels on so one panel trim it off that obviously didn't cut very well 
and on this craft card you've got like a very textured side and a smoother side I want the very textured side up so there's our two top panels here are our two bottom panels okay and they're going to go on there like that and then our top panel will go like that need a bit more space obviously and our bottom panel will go like that and then we're going to do the side panels obviously down there and that's how we're going to deal with that okay now we could possibly could we possibly have a middle panel we could maybe let's have a look we could get a middle panel in there as well actually look and really make it look like an old door so that's what I'm doing so let's get um, a bit of glue book famous last words as always but you can always find one if you hum whoops so glue book I'm gonna start with the big one making sure that I keep the more textured side to the top yet another new pot of glue should have shares in this company by now I think Right, and I'm going to glue right to the edge. I'm going to put, hold in place the one for this side. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that in place. And that actually happens to be the whole size of the paper. I want to bring that up, make sure you can see. So that's the whole length of that paper, look, which is awesome. So then I'm going to square this up next to it and press that down, loose that piece, make sure I'm right on the edge, like so. And then I'm going to snip off that piece. Now that's got glue on. We can easily put more glue on if we need to. That's fine. So now the piece that we know was exactly... The right side I'm gonna put that piece on I'm sure you've seen this done before it's not a new thing or my idea at all I've seen it done by other people push that on now I'm sure if anyone's married to a woodworker they'll be telling me this is not plum or straight or whatever but uh, these things you know sent to twice and look that join goes that way and this one goes this way but you know it is what it is let's go this way actually and i'll tell you for why because i think those short bits will do the top and bottom from the middle so then we won't have to worry about cutting anymore so line this one up Put that on the bottom. Make sure that's nice and square on your paper. And obviously you could do this in a normal size journal where you've folded over pieces. Doesn't have to be. Right, we need to put these on next before we centre that line and then we can add those pieces. So Make sure I'm gluing on the smooth side because I really, really want the texture up. So, now, we've got a nice square angle there so it should be easy enough to line that up like so. If I then put this one on here, just for a moment I'm not pressing it down properly I just want it to give me the guide of where 
the other panels going to go. Turn it round because I find it easier. Right, now as you can see, that's not central. We've got a wide bit in the middle. So we could move that along a little tiny bit and come down a little bit. You really want those spaces to be the same. So if we put that one there and then we can marry that one up with it like so okay let's take that off and put that down there so we can do the bottom ones it's quite a quick and simple little project this one to be honest perhaps it should have been on my tuesday slot of the short and simple rather than the big book but I am using it in the big book. Now, as I say, you could obviously do this in your normal folded journals. It would just need to be smaller. And you'd have to take that into account when you cut your pieces of card. So. And then before I press these home home, I'm just going to bring in my ruler and see if that feels level. And it doesn't look okay so I feel like I need to, need to move it over a little tiny bit so then this one just line that up it's not really woodworkery but is it but it's you know we're doing our bit okay pull that back off so now I'm going to take the longest of my short pieces and I'm going to make my central panel. Now, as you can see, that's not quite long enough. So I'm going to put this back on the edge there and I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to tell myself where I need to cut that off. Okay. And we hope that's square and straight yeah that looks good to me and then that one will go there okay it's like a shelf didn't I oh well not a lot I can do about that now right let's glue this piece in place so I'm going to line that up there try and make sure the gap between our panels is good give us a little tiny bit of space there it's an old door perhaps the joints are separating what do you think and put our last piece on like so now what I want to do is I want to line in roughly the middle there like that I'm gonna I'm gonna glue that up sorry I need to glue the textured side pop that on there Okay, you can see that's like halfway. So then this one will glue up. Okay, and we're going to pop that in there like so. We'll chop off our extra bit. And then that can go. Oh, I do apologize. Someone's making some noise in the street, and that goes on there like that. And we haven't quite finished, but we've got our door, it's rather nice, isn't it? And I know I've got a join here, but what I wanted to do there was put a plaque 
you know like you'd have a, a thumb plaque on a really old door and we see if we can get a knocker in there but before we do any of that we need to get our napkin on to decorate up our door so just like that look I'm gonna put that on there so we'll close up our stick glue we will get some PVA this is just Tesco's PVA glue it's nothing special I'm gonna put some in there like that get my brush don't dip your brush in your coffee Claire that's not what you want to do okay get a little bit of water in there water it down a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue up my door as you can see I only glued up the bottom half so we'll put it over put it down and now I'm going to use my brush and I'm just going to press that down into our grooves so we've got our, our panels all nicely raised and we can see them like so and I'm hoping that where we did the brown card with the white paper behind what that's going to mean is that the lighter areas are going to look you know like the recess it's I mean obviously it is recessed so how could it not look like a recess but you know what I mean the recess on a real door is always um, slightly different colour I don't want to stick it all on there so turn that round now what I'm going to do is hold it up obviously don't go too far back glue up the rest of it Sorry, there's lots of activity in the street today, isn't there? I'm sorry, I obviously can't help what goes on in the street. Um, you just have to, unfortunately, put up with that. We've all got neighbours, haven't we, that are overly noisy. Not a lot, I'm afraid. Um, right, so, there we go. Pressing that down. Okay. We are nearly there. Okay, our door is now decorated. The painters have been in <laughs> and decorated our door for us. So I'm going to get myself a wet wipe and get all this glue off of my board. And then I'm going to put my blow gun on it and dry it all off okay so let's lay that down there 
let's get my blowgun and off we go. Okay, that's nice and dry, so we can get rid of that. And now I'm just going <clears> to <throat> turn it over, trim away all my excess, because obviously we don't want that on there, do we? Trim that away, just like that. And of course the thing when you do a door like this is... It's about proportion, you know, you've only got to look at photographs of doors or if you've got an old wooden door, look at your own front door and that will give you the proportions that you need to use and how, you know, why to cut your various pieces to get a nice sort of symmetry look to it. And as you can see, because of the wet glue, we've actually got the pattern of the door on the inside. So it's almost like a real door, you know, because you see the pattern, don't you, on the inside of the door as well as the outside. So that's another good little bit for our faux pas door. Oh, goodness me, I can't get my scissors to operate here properly for some reason really struggling with these scissors but anyway there we go getting through the slowly but surely okay so that's got all of those pieces off that's our rubbish pulp now I've got some tin foil from the kitchen so I'm just going to stick that onto a spare piece of that card that we had left over like so well, it's a bit gigantic this bit of foil isn't it this little bit of card but there you go I'm just going to press that down and we're going to get the pattern coming through which is nice trim that off could have lined a whole pie dish with that couldn't i only need a little tiny bit anyway there you go and then just obviously bring the bits around it's going to be easier to wrap it round than trim it because otherwise we trim it obviously we're going to see our card edges whereas this way we're not we're going to see the nice foil edge or you know chrome as it's supposed to be on our door and just press them in whoops try not to drop it especially if you're going to end up throwing it on the floor as I usually do and there we've got a nice metal clean my fingers because I've got glue all over them okay so now what I want is where's the one with the seam that side I want a door plate you know for my thumb um, so I'm gonna not my thumb your hand you know you usually press now I said all that about the tin foil and now I've cut it so I'm going to put like that way and that will be our door plate so I'm going to re-glue that that's our door plate and that will take the oil away from that seam Okay, they, they are really usually brass, but, you know, I don't think that matters. And then we're going to give ourselves a letterbox. Now that's much too long, so about that long, I think. If we 
give ourselves a letterbox. Now I've not worried about a keyhole or anything. Um, obviously you could go that far if you wanted to. I'm just going with my <clears throat> thumb plate or finger plate. I can never think what they're called. And my letterbox. Okay. So there we go. Now. I'm going to get my ink out and I'm just going to run a little bit of ink around the edge of the door just for like some shadow as it were just a little bit don't have to it's personal choice always just run that little bit of ink and then because obviously our recesses um, they're the places that all the dust and dirt settle from the street so I'm going to run a little bit of ink around those as well so like this bottom here if you just sort of tilt it and just run a little bit of line across there tilt it just run a little bit along there okay so there is our door, all that remains is to stick it into our book and then obviously while you're off having fun and games doing something else, I will make two more of the other signatures. So let's pull this out, let's find the page that we'd like to put it on. Um, we're run, not running out, but the pages are getting fewer, fewer to find. Now, is our house painted blue? That could be nice, couldn't it? Have a blue painted house. So let's pull out these. Whoops! Pull out these pages. Get the book out of the way. And then I'm just going to obviously glue down there. Now that's actually not Boo barking, that's a different dog. Boo's sound asleep. Right, and we're going to put this central to the blue area rather than the page. And just bring that around a little bit like so bring that round and glue that down and i'm thinking i'm going to go through all my magazines it doesn't look very square to me there we go Is that a bit squarer um, I'm going to go through all my magazines and I'm going to try and find an image of a hallway, I think, that we'll see behind our door or maybe a lounge or something. So there you go. That's this week's big book. We've given ourselves a door. I hope you found some inspiration and joy with me today. Stay safe. Happy crafting. Be back with you again soon. Bye bye for now.